Hey, what's going on, man? This is Big Grom. I'm going to show you how to edit your song and make clean versions of your songs. This is the few techniques and things that I do. Let's say if I record a song and, um, you know, it has some cuss words or some phrases that are not proper for kids to hear. Um, how to edit it and make it still sound like it's, it's supposed to be the song, but um, not the same thing. Um, basically, there's different methods and the method that we want to start off with is the one of cutting the word out just flat out cutting it out um, this is a song that I recorded I produced I performed it so it's all me and um, we're gonna search for a cuss word which I pretty much know there's some on my second verse so I just solo out the vocals give me some of that slip and drip and wet give me some of that shit I Find the word shit. Shit, I. Right. What you want to do is hold down control and you select. Because since I did doubles, where I said shit on two different tracks, I hold down control and I select the other track too. I hit F to slice it. Select both of them again by holding control and clicking on them. Hit S. Slice that. Now I can just simply make sure both of these are selected and just hit delete. And I can take the word out. It's still there. I can still drag it out and it'll still be there. So you could do it like that. Or I can just come over here at the end of the word shit, hit select, hit S, and just grab and drag them both over until it's gone. So those are two different methods you can cut it out. Now, um, you can leave it like that. So I can have it where I just play it like this. Dripping, dripping wet. Give me some of that. I can't forget. So I just cut it out. Now, for some words and for some songs, if, especially if the words are really long, it's not going to sound right. Have you ever heard songs that have been edited and it's like, you know, it, it, he said a whole like phrase and you don't hear nothing? I remember when uh, Eminem, uh, <clears throat> Drake, and Lil Wayne was singing that song and they said so many things and they was cutting it out and it just didn't sound good. You know, I know it was kind of like a live show. And um, when they, you know, so they just, they just, all, all they could do is cut it out. But it don't sound good when it's too long of a phrase or too long of a word. Um, shit is a short word, so it doesn't sound bad. Um, another method you could do is add a sound effect to fill that spot. So I could add another audio track. All right, let's say this. Just drag this over here. Make it long enough just to fit that spot. I'm actually going to turn this down because I know the sound effect is kind of loud. Because you want it to be even with your um with your vocals too. Or a little bit lower. You just don't want it to be louder than your vocals. Dripping, dripping wet. Give me some of that. I can't forget. See what I'm saying? So a lot of people do that too. Um... Another method would be is to just re-record it, that little part. So I would leave. Dripping, dripping wet. Give me some of that stuff. I can't forget. So you just say that word stuff instead of saying shit. You say stuff. Dripping, dripping wet. Give me some of that stuff. I can't forget. Give me. So um, you could do it. You could do it that way as well, and that sounds better, especially when you're doing long phrases. Technically, I probably should re-record. Give me some of that slip and drip. Give me some of that slip and drip and wet. You know, I can say something else that rhyme with wet. You know, I can say some. Give me some of that power jet. Nah. I mean, you can just say something to just rhyme with that so it won't sound like it's out of place. You want everything to sound smooth. You want the kids to hear it and feel like that was the original version. That's really the goal. Like, that was the original version that you know, of a song, because you never know, you may have to perform in front of kids, you know, somebody may want to play your song, but well, I don't want to, I can't play, you know, the dirty version, I got to play the clean version, so it's always good, especially if it's a song that you're promoting, it's always good to have a clean version, and this is pretty much the few methods you can use to clean up any dirty version of your song, all right, peace. Oh, before I go, make sure you check me out, myspace.com, backslash, Big Grime and One.
number one. Just type the one. You don't have to spell it out. Just type number one. All right, peace.